Hello everybody, it is me again, and uh, I am starting, I think, I don't really want to call it a let's play, because I don't know if I'm going to finish it, I'm pretty sure I don't, I am not going to finish it, because this game is horribly long, but I'm going to try and play some of this for you guys, this is Deus Ex Human, Rev Human Revolution, it is my favorite game of all time. Uh, some people prefer the original Deus, Deus Ex, but I did not play the original Deus, Deus Ex, so I can I cannot judge on that. I don't want because I heard it's terribly optimized. The engine, the engine is kind of horrible, and you have to uh, you and you have to have really big nostalgia cock to uh, kind of enjoy the original Deus Ex. I believe at least. Somebody's gonna kill me for that, but I don't really, ca I don't, I don't, I don't really care. Uh, so okay, so let's play. Uh, I skipped through the intro section for you guys, so I'm gonna tell you what happened. Um, I am, I am, a I am Adam Jensen. Uh, I am a big security guy for this lab. I, I used to work at the lab before, and then a big, and then because this this lab make makes human augmentations like machine parts that makes the human better like you can have like a machine arm that is better than your normal arm and they would make this stuff and right when we had a, like a big project a big secret thing that we were making the typhoon and it and the typhoon is a big explosive attack thing in your, in your, in your arm uh, we, we were attacked in the lab and I was pretty heavily damaged and everybody I know everybody that I liked there's a girl that I liked that I kind of the girl kept, kept wanting to tell me something and we kept getting inter interrupted and then we got attacked so so everyone was attacked and the whole team of scientists that, 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 were, that were working on the, on the typhoon the secret typhoon were kill and now uh, six months later six months after that attack I am back I have all the, and because I was so so heavily injured they had to put all kinds of augmentations in my body to keep me alive so I'm really really heavy augmented uh, I have all different things you will see them you will see that later so yeah, I'm back here, and as you see, I'm kind of my uh, my eye and my my look, my 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 uh, like my rectal, my, my retinal enhancement isn't working. I can't see very well. Everything is flickering, so we have to go to the technical support guy David keeping the SWAT team from going in right away? and fix that. And the great thing about this is that is that is that. Uh, this game is a huge amount of conversations and lore and, st and story, so I'm gonna shut up during that and and I'll see you later and I'll just up the volume so you can listen to the story. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Oh, looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right, we done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. So this is a conversation thing. You can either confront him and ignore him. So I'm going to ignore him because I don't want to spoil anything of the story. Lucky for you, I'm going to ignore that comment. We're done here. So what... So you see the experience bar in my thing in my, in, in the left corner in the right thing corner, and that me and I'll just explain that to you when we get to it. But now I gotta go to the helip to the helicopter pad to start my first mission. 
And before you know, I, I, I'm a bit of a completionist in this kind of game. Like, I want to do everything. So, there's gonna be a lot of side quests, and there's gonna be a lot of hacking. Adam, how close are you to the helipad? Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. So I'm gonna do everything that gives me points or extra items because you need you need them you need the extra things and the extra items and the extra exp experience. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it? I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you, six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Yeah, I'm gonna reassure her. Just, I gotta, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be nice to her. Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. I told Farida to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? No, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factoring. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam. So he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. Alright. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? I'm gonna go with non-lethal because finding a stun gun is or a tranquilizer is not is very difficult and guns are really easy to find later in the game. I'm not looking to start a firefight in there, just neutralize them. Okay. But just make sure those bastards don't wake up and warn their friends. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance or up close? Uh, I'm gonna go with distance because if, if we're getting close, I can shoot them anyway. So, I'm gonna go with distance. Give me something with distance. If I get too close, I'll take them out personally. Just try not to break anything expensive. The Typhoon should be in the factoring labs. But Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies. And if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. 